Hello guys, so basically my wing mirror decided to fall off so I've got a replacement and I'll be fitting this today along with some black mirror covers. So firstly what you want to do is make sure the mirror is all the way to the right. So this is the right mirror, I put it to um, R and then pushing it to the left so that it basically comes on like this and I can put my fingers behind it this way I'll be able to pull like that. I'm gonna exit the vehicle yeah never keep your mirrors on the heater mirror thing this one fell off while I literally like a minute after I took off so make sure it's like that and I'm also gonna do the same to this mirror let's exit the vehicle and do so so I haven't actually done this before, but from what I've seen, all you have to do is stick two things behind here and gently pull outwards and there's some clips. There we go, that's the top clip, that's the bottom clips. Oh, this looks really dodgy, this one. Oh. Okay, it's never gonna sound good, there's obviously a clip to touch, you know. But there you go. That is a stay in there, but um, you know, as you've got heated mirrors, these two cables we're plugged in, it's the blue and the red. So, just make sure to remember what side those are on. So, red is on the inside, and then blue is on the outside. So, I've actually got the mirror here, purchased it, purchased it off uh, eBay for about seven or eight pounds. And as you see, it's not the same, it's not the genuine one, but it should do. So, what we're gonna do is, as we're replacing this, it's filthy, um, what we need to do is basically push this clip back here, and then a clip back there, and then it just should just come off. So let's give that a go. Take, I took this clip from here and this clip, and I just basically just pulled it off, and it came off pretty easily, so here you see. There's the two clips, which go into, goes into there, the little hole there, and there. So yeah, so that's, I actually put the black one on now, so let's get that out. So here we have a nice and shiny black wing mirror. I've just given it a little brush down, there's cobwebs everywhere, it's kind of gross. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna put it on. I think I'm gonna need two hands. Um, Oh, I don't think it's clipped in, but as you see, it's pretty easy to put in and it fits and it looks quite nice already. Um, so after a little bit of fiddling, I tried to push it in and use the flathead to basically pull the um, the little clip on top. And yeah, now it's fit. So now I've taken the clips off the old one and I put them straight onto the new one because I didn't want to get them mixed up. Um, but yeah, pretty easy, just basically take it out and uh, put it back in the, in the correct order. Um, it's now done. So all you need to do now is basically put the mirror back and then basically push it back. Make sure it's... I don't want to move it too much, I don't want to mess up the motors, but... Oh, there we go, oh, there you go. You know those clicks are nice. When you hear those clicks, you know something's working. So yeah, just push it around. And I think that is all, so... If I were to turn my car... As you can see... There is moving fine. Up, down, and that is it. That is the mirror and the wing mirror cap fit. So I'm gonna do the same to the other side, but it's technically the same thing. So I hope this uh, was informative and it helped you out. And thanks for watching.